All right, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. On the last episode, we learned a little bit about Skyloft, and we discovered that our loft wing is missing. So now we need to find where the hell our pesky bird went. Um, sometimes you roll on the trees, you get rupees, so I have a tendency to do that quite quite often, actually. So forgive me if I get to be a little bit annoying. So, in order to find our our loft wing, we gotta go down here. Here's the rest of Skyloft. Skyloft is actually a pretty big place. Um, it's rather large for a hometown, um, but there's a lot to do here, so a lot of the game will take place here. There we go, there's a ruby, finally. What's this kid got to say? <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Can I talk to him? Ow! Little punk? Alright. That's what you need to do. You need to roll into that one. Um, he's trying to. What he's trying to do is catch a bug. Um, you can catch bugs in this game. There's a bunch of different kind of bugs. Um, they have a pretty good use. I don't personally do a whole lot with them. I actually use them for money more than anything else. Here's a heart. Um, they, those come back and pretty useful if you're ever low on hearts. But um, like I was saying about the bugs, I use them for money because you can actually sell them to somebody later on in the game but it's a good idea to have a lot because you can actually up upgrade your potions with them too um, but again, we'll get into that again a little more a little later on in the game so come down here and you can see this crew down here of this little threesome why he's giving him a back rub I really don't know <laughs> <laughs> Look at that hair. So they obviously know what they what's happened to Link's Loftwing. So he was the one that stole Link's Loftwing. That asshole. Kind of remind me of the the movie West Side Story. It's these old school kind of looking. <laughs> Like greaser, I guess you could say. Um, his name's Groose. The other two I can't quite remember off the top of my hand. Um, that tall, lanky guy, though, he's actually the one that you sell bugs to later on. And will give you money. Um, and the, the short, fat one, which is kind of, I don't know, you can do a pretty hilarious side quest with him later on in the game. <laughs> um, as you'll quickly learn here, Groose wants Zelda badly. And he will do anything to get her, so that's why he uh, wanted to get rid of Link's Loftwing, because Link's obviously his biggest competition. So, right away I already do not like this guy. So here we know we get another choice. Nice hair. You lay off my do right now or I'll flat you. Everyone knows I got the slickest pump door in town. Nice words too, man. Yeah, 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 you don't point your finger at me, I'll break that shit. If I was Link, I would just jack him right in the face right now. Just shut him up for good. <sighs> what a punk. Uh-oh. Zelda's sassy. Like I said, you really get to know these characters well before your adventure even starts. And that's why I like it. Oh, look at that. God, Zelda's badass in this game. It, it really... Th this game, it just... It really, like, kind of... It shows how, like, a... Uh, kind of like a high school would be. You know, there's little cliques. And bullies. And... <laughs> Oh God, Bruce! <laughs> oh, that's funny. And of course, you know the biggest guy's got got a sweet spot and for a girl, and that's his weakness. But you know, the the huge. Yeah, that guy really pisses me off. But we really need to find our lock wings. We can't let Bruce have his alone time with Zelda. Do not want that. Mm. Go 
love blockheads. Anytime I hear the word blockheads, I think of uh, Gumby. I don't know if any of you guys remember the Gumby show with the blockheads on that show. That was, God, that was a long time ago. I remember watching that in, like when I was really young, like early 90s young. So, I mean, I'm only 24, and it seems like a long time ago, so... Alright, now we gotta continue on to try to find our loft wing. Uh, I can't remember actually what order we have to do this in. I think we have to do something up here first before we find our loft wing. So come all the way back up here. This is uh, the bazaar. You can buy a lot of stuff in there. and There's a lot to do in there. I'll, I'll get into that when we can actually get inside there. So, come up here. Um, if you let your, I'll show you what happens if you let your stamina gauge run out too. Link like gets exhausted and you move slow and you can't use your sword or anything. So, uh oh, Pippet's got something for us. Got some info. He got the DL on our loft wing, Pippet. What you know, son? So Fledge actually knows what happened. He heard Gru's talk about it, but Gru's like the punk ass that he is threatened Fledge, so. Gru's forces him to go down on him. No, I'm just kidding. That's sick. So they hit our loft wing somewhere. Um, we gotta find it. It doesn't help us. Oh, near a waterfall. All right, so we gotta find it. He's near a waterfall. So here's our map. You can see how big uh, Skyloft is here. Now the waterfall is right there, and we are currently up here. So, oh. to use your map, you just hit the plus button anytime. Um, it's actually pretty useful. I use it quite often in this game. Um, you can actually see two on the side. I can't remember exactly how to do it. I don't think I can actually get rid of it now, but there's shows like a Wii Remote and the Nunchuck. You can get rid of those if you need to. They just tell you certain commands and buttons that you need. Um, I will get rid of them later. I think because you lets you do it later. Um, if you come in here, you can practice using a sword. And it kind of gives you a little tutorial of the mechanics of the sword. And in this game, it's actually quite different. Um... First chest, first chest. Let's see what we got. You got a practice sword. Alright. Um, but like I was saying, in here you actually have to swing your, your uh, Wiimote in certain directions to uh, cut. See, so you can cut, if you swing it to the side, it cuts like that. You can go diagonal, up, down. You can do a spin attack both ways, which is kind of sweet. So here we're going to get into a little sword mechanics here. Um, you just got to come up to each log. And you just cut. You got to cut it a certain way. Or it doesn't work. You can stab by giving the jabbing with the Wii remote. Um, I find the, the game mechanics actually... I like to sit down when I play, and it, it's actually kind of hard to get it just right when you're sitting down, so... Ooh, a spin attack. So, I, I... It's pretty good, though. I mean, there's... What, what really can you ask for, for off the Wii? I, it handles well enough. It makes it, It's still pretty easy to play. So here, to do a spin attack, you just move both Wii Remote and Nunchuck in the same direction, to the right or left, and up or down to do that sort of spin attack. Um, I usually do a Fatal Blow. They took this too out of um, Twilight Princess, so... Which is cool, you don't have to actually learn anything, you have it right away. So we're gonna cut it. We're gonna try to cut it. And then we'll do a Fatal Blow. You just push the Wii Remote and Nunchuck forward. And that's a, a finish attack there. And that comes in handy quite a bit later on as well. Mm -hmm. No 
do things. I don't need to learn how to use that. Yes, 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 we've practiced. I need, need to go. Come on, buddy. I need to go. My loft wing is probably dying. Oh, we can't take the sword. Yeah, you, you little conniving person, Link. So, he'll let us kick the sword out here now that he knows our loft wing is missing. You want to make sure you do this before you go look for your loft wing, because in order to get to the place where your loft wing is, I believe you need the sword. I could be wrong about that, but I believe you do. And you'll see why here in a second. Um, we're actually going to go get our loft wing. Now, I believe. Let's see, we've been recording for about a half hour. Ah, uh, you know what? I think... Ah, uh, never mind. I gotta I'll explain this to you. We got the gossip stones in this game too. Um, if you check them, you can actually—I believe you can get hints from them. Hey, friend, walk yourself on over here and say hello. How do you do? I'm what you call. Oh, it's a sheik and stone in this game, but gossip stone's the other one. Uh, yep. This—he will let you kind of tell you what to do if you're stuck on things. Um, for the most part, I know this game pretty well. I might struggle in some of the dungeons and or some of the few side quests. Um, but I will do my best. I don't have a practice file. I just don't think I could play through the game twice, basically. So here's where we can save. You can save with these bird statues as well. It gives you three options, cancel, save, or save and quit. Uh, um, but. Like I was saying here, I just don't think I can handle playing it more than once. So I mean, I'll do my best. I might have to look a few things up, but just bear with me a little bit. But um, actually, you know what? I think we're gonna save and quit here for the day. Uh, we've already been coding for quite some time. And yes, I want to quit. Um, you can see I I do have three files already in use. Um, one is my most recent playthrough, right here. No, right here. I do have all 20 heart containers, and I do have that's a 100% game there. So, in this one there was one heart piece I couldn't get, and it's the biggest pain in the ass in the world, and I'm not looking forward to it. But, like I said, I will do my best. Um, I am gonna do try to do a 100% run here. So, all right, guys. Next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're gonna get our Lothwing back from that son of a bitch Groose. Have a good day.